Hey y'all, this is Dr. Monique Maza from Earth Haven Eco Village with part two of our vermiculture video. In the first part, we already went over how to feed our worms and set them up so they're gonna be happy critters and producing worm castings for you in the first two levels. Today, I'm gonna show you um, the finished layer, level three, as all the castings have been um, processed through the worm's body and what to do with the castings. So here we go, we're gonna take off these first two layers and be careful with your back because it's pretty heavy. And voila! Usually this finished layer has no visible worms in it. There's probably going to be some down below. It kind of looks like a dehydrated version. There should be no leaf matter or no real visible evidence of food. And if we just start going through here, we could see it's a real fluffy um, kind of material, usually a little circular, a little pebbles looking. And so we're just gonna scratch it a bit. And the best way, there are likely to be worms down at the bottom of this, but really because you've been feeding the two upper trays, there's perforations in the trays. When the food is gone from this level, they will naturally start to crawl up into the layers where there's active feeding happening. So typically to harvest this, we create a pyramid because there's likely to be worms in here that we don't want to get stuck in our casting bucket. See, here's one that's still eating something. So we create a bit of a pyramid and as natu nature has it, bugs, uh, the worms do not like to be in the sun. So what we do is by creating this pyramid, we make them a little bit uncomfortable and then in the worms will dive down to the bottom of this and then leaving this for about 10 minutes like that and then we can come back as the worms will now dive down they'll be they will have evicted this top layer and then we can take this and put this in a bucket and it's ready to be applied to the plants there are some eggshells in here because i think that that just helps aerate it but that's fine if they're part of it storing this is best in a bucket with a closed lid this, has, this is alive with lots of probiotics, and so using this as soon as possible is best. If you have to store it, store it with a lid so it retains its moisture. Basically, what I do is take one handful of this per plant. If I've just transplanted some seedlings, some small plants, I would just take a handful of this and scratch it around the base of the plant, and then let nature do the rest. These are our worm castings, one of nature's free best composting that I could find and help our plants be more medicinal for us. So use your worms, use your kitchen compost and um, enjoy. Thanks for watching the video. What's going on with that spout down there? Oh, the spout is basically the leachate. This is the water that comes down and this is not really um, supposed to be used. It's keeping drainage happening. So this is always open. If it gets too wet, it's a problem. So we want to have it the right level of moisture. So we wet our leaves before we put them in there, but we don't put them in dripping. We actually squeeze the water out before we make the bedding. And then this leachate, I typically, it's said not to put this directly on plants. What I do with this is I, I wet it. I, I'm sorry, I dilute it. And then I put this in my main compost pile. So I think there's benefits to it, but I think that it's too strong. It could burn the plants. So diluting it and then I throw it in my big compost pile for further breakdown. Yeah, and that's it. It's really fun and it's so rewarding. Your worms will love you. So enjoy the worm castings and have vibrant plants.